This is Mission Control Houston. We're watching video that was, that was being downlinked by the crew of a discovery of their launch yesterday. This is a camera that was mounted inside the uh, crew cabin. On the left-hand side is pilot Ken Ham. Directly behind him is Mission Specialist Karen Nyberg. Beside her is Mission Specialist Ryan Guerin, and to the right of the screen is Commander Mark Kelly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Discovery. Combate Kudasai. Best of luck to the International Space Station's newest laboratory. Houston and Discovery, roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery, a man-made rising sun on behalf of Japan. Discovery on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. Six seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery already five miles in altitude, eight and a half miles downrange, traveling almost a thousand miles an hour. Discovery Houston, go with throttle up. Throttle up. throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Mark Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Ken Ham, flight engineer Ron Guerin, and mission specialist Karen Nyberg. Down on the mid deck are Mike Fossum, Aki Hoshide, and Greg Shamatov, heading for a half year on the International Space Station. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight. Discovery 22 miles in altitude, 23 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. seeing uh, the end of the replay of the ascent flight deck video that was captured by a camera on the flight deck uh, looking aft uh, during uh, Discovery's uh, climb to orbit yesterday. Pilot Ken Ham on the left, behind him Karen Nyberg, uh, Ron Guerin uh, in the middle of your screen. Uh, that is Mike Fossum reaching across Guerin. Uh, Fossum floated up uh, from uh, the mid-deck uh, where he was seated along with Aki Hoshide and Greg Shamatov for launch yesterday. Uh, this was in the post main engine cutoff time frame. You see Karen Nyberg getting out of her seat. Uh, she operated a video camera and Mike Fossum operated a digital still camera to take uh, high resolution uh, pictures of the shuttle's external tank from a distance of about 1,450 feet as it uh, floated away from the shuttle Discovery following a maneuver by the orbiter following external tank separation. Uh, the uh, reference that Kelly made a moment ago uh, was that the card uh, containing uh, the uh, photos of the external tank that Fossum took uh, is going to be a downlink for imagery analysis here on the ground a short time from now. And uh, in the next uh, few minutes, we should be seeing, as soon as this video is over with, uh, the video of the external tank uh, that was captured by Karen Nyberg using a, a video camera uh, that will be downlinked uh, 
a short time from now. Again, all of that uh, is part of the archive of imagery uh, that will be analyzed uh, by mission managers in uh, determining uh, whether or not uh, any uh, debris struck uh, the orbiter during its climb to orbit. It is not believed to be the case. Any debris that uh, apparently was liberated during uh, the eight and a half minute ride to orbit uh, was so uh, after Discovery had reached uh, the point of its ascent where it was out of the uh, discernible traces of Earth's atmosphere, out of the uh, critical area of debris uh, transport uh, capability. And so um, all of the imagery analysis will begin in earnest uh, today along with the uh, much of the uh, imagery that was captured by cameras uh, down at the Kennedy Space Center and airborne uh, during uh, Discovery's climb to orbit. White object uh, in the upper left hand portion of the screen, believed to be a large uh, patch of ice, which is typical uh, once an orbiter reaches its preliminary orbit above the Earth. Not right now. Again, uh, this handheld video uh, of the external fuel tank taken by mission specialist Karen Nyberg yesterday out of the aft flight deck window of Discovery. Just moments after uh, Discovery had reached its preliminary orbit following its launch at 4.02 p.m. Central Time from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston on one for the easy handheld video. Looks like that's done. Thank you for the great imagery. I don't want to rush you, but in post insertion, Houston Discovery. Copy that. Thanks, Dick. This video shot yesterday, just moments after the orbiter reached its uh, preliminary uh, destination in orbit in pursuit of the International Space Station. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Uh, peering down into the mid-deck, uh, Mike Fossum, as he uh, began to uh, emerge up onto the flight deck to join Karen Nyberg at the aft flight deck uh, for the uh, external tank video. Uh, there's Aki Hoshide, uh, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut, and his first moments of weightlessness. 